That's what we needed. So I broke into the collab sets here and we're gonna be getting into it. Got some really sick ones coming in, even half finished from the last time. This tag one might be a good way to start us off. I think we'll also be breaking into a ton of different supplies here. We'll need a chisel tip for this. Let me go grab some Sharpies. So this first one's Est1, E-S-T-1. Got to double back on some of these lines. Looks like we need like a dark purple for this outline. Got a fresh juice. Sticker collabs have such a funny place for me in my kind of rhythm of making art. Years can sometimes go by and I haven't even done one. And then days like today, I want to sit down and do 10. I'll do 3D down to follow check and psycho a bit, especially the fat drift. Definitely got to hit it with the highlight. I wonder what paint marker I used for this fluorescent because it does not like these Molotovs. And I like Psycho did some blue tips, this minty color that could work well. Got Calypso Mattel. I think this one will look sweet. That makes it pop so much. Maybe we run this character one next. What do we have here? Nice. The Real Blanco, 07, Vandal Scrum, and E6. I definitely have never seen this gray postal from who knows where before. But maybe I'll bring back some blues from, from the first character. Kind of got a Rick vibe to it with the light blue here. Do some bubbles over here to help fill in the space. I didn't want to cover up the tag. And I don't know, the, the hurdle to kind of get started on some of these feels weird because, you know, there's another person's artwork in the mix. And not that I'm like worried that I'm going to mess the thing up, but there's certainly like a lot more to think about when you're going into it. It's not something totally expressed by yourself. And that's also part of my favorite part about collabs is someone's like, like set up the color scheme or the style and you kind of just play off of that. I gotta mention I put up these new street side blanks on my web shop. I'm gonna start a collab off with these right now. This is a design that actually came from OIC a little while back. They're gonna be some sweet collab setups or even individuals. I love to just do a, a tag on the front of the door here. Gives just such a nice setting to it. So yeah, definitely go check these out. I'll have a bunch of them available. So you too can be looking as crispy clean as this. Well, we barely used this lime green on the first throw. So let's uh, break it out and have it be our primary fill. While that dries, let's hit up the Psycho collab. So for me, having someone tell me like what type of art to make or how to make it takes all the joy out of it. So maybe that's why I'm like so hesitant to really dive in and do collabs more often, more frequently, because there is kind of that outside chirp. One of those that like, if I can put the blinders on long enough to get into it, I'm down for doing like 20 collabs all back to back. Had my eye on this MTEX collab. I think we could do something real cool with the blue hits in maybe a, a piece style up here. I got a big one in the shock blue as well as the, the little one here. Should work well. I just do like one S and then see how that plays out. Cool blank for sure. Loving that backdrop. I don't know if you guys feel the same way where you've seen this kind of weasel its way in where someone's like maybe gets you an art gift or something and it's not something you went after but they thought you might like and then you feel like almost no desire to actually customize it or make something of it and then you know it gets put aside and put aside and put aside and then you never kind of get back to it. You know you might not have done the work to say if that's going to be a perfect meld for what you're trying to go after next and personally I feel a little resistant to that because it's an interjection where I'm almost always nitpicking you know why I might not want to go after it or why it's not going to you know meld perfectly. Perfectly. So Vex sent me like five, six, seven different collabs here, all kind of similar setup. I just want to pick one though to, to do here. This green one, maybe we could do the compliments, see how we kind of did a uh, yellow lightning bolt and red. Maybe that could be our piece color and we could do a lightning bolt that's in like the green and the yellow next to it. I really do like the chunky style he has going on here. Running out of room, gotta grab another hello. So I don't know, it's that weird personal input versus someone else's input that gets kind of muddied when it's such a such a discreet thing that's you, you know, your artwork, your creativity, your styles. And then someone says, well, do it on that. Now it doesn't feel like yours so much anymore. And, you know, they're given some outside influence and it's kind of that turn on. Do you trust somebody's input, even though it could be totally blind? Or in many instances, it might even be better just to, you know, force yourself into that crux and then work your way back out of it. I'm going to go kind of with the momentum of the piece and add extra lines across you know, different sections of the letter. And that kind of brings back that initial like rhythm of the sketch where you're kind of building the letter up. This orange should make a nice compliment to all the doodads and doodles around the m -tex. You know, we got to have a holographic in the mix. And taking those moments when you might first anticipate it as something you don't like, but give it a second, you know, maybe not a whole year by leaving collabs around, but give it a little bit and then revisit it. See if it is a good canvas to work off of and try something new on. But for me, I find if I'm willing to just go in almost blind and start working at what I know, maybe feel it out a little bit and mold my style into what I'm working on, that's when I really come up with some creative things. Getting a little bit of rhythm there, but then I can develop it further and find ways that my styles can complement this new piece.
That's what we needed. Extra black. It was looking way too flat before this. I think I want to run a black outline around the whole thing. Really make it double pop. Kurt, I hope you're cool with that too. I love the orange touch just on the accent there. Vex got this itty bitty outline and we think I'm gonna have to use a Sharpie to get there. Let me know if you guys have that kind of turmoil about creative input from you know outside people or even collabs. It's just kind of that weird vibe that I get sometimes when it's about to start a piece or you're you're about to go after something totally new. There's a little bit of a hesitation there with, with what you're familiar with, what you're comfortable with, and you know, kind of treading in new waters there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that session. We went so crazy on all these. Love the little throw sets here. And honestly, even the starter tag set, even though it was our warm up, worked out pretty well. Don't forget to check out the blanks I just dropped on my site for the storefronts. These are gonna go hot and great for your own collabs even. Big shout out to Psycho and all the other amazing artists that sent these collabs my way. So fun to be able to get on a whole variety of them. If you enjoyed the video, definitely drop a like on it. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay up.